Hi folks, Nathan here. In this video, I'll be showing you all of our accessibility functions in the toolkit. So to get there, we first go to settings and accessibility. And this is gonna give us our full list of options here. At the top, we have UI size. So if you're hard of seeing, or if you just need to change the amount of real estate you've got available, our UI goes up to 150% or down to 75%. For this, we're going to go back to 125. Next, we have use dyslexia friendly font. So this will turn all of the font in the toolkit into open dyslexic. Uh, note that this doesn't affect notes. This only affects all menu and text in the toolkit. But if you have dyslexia, then this might help you understand what's going on a little better. Next up is our middle click function. By default, it's set to open map content links, which is one of these here. So if I middle click, that's gonna open up the note and activate the content link. If I change that to treat as left mouse hold, what that's gonna do is when I middle click, it treats it as if I'm holding the left mouse button down and then I can move it around as needed and then just click to release. So this is for those who may have some physical disabilities and aren't able to hold down a mouse for a prolonged amount of time. Um, this doesn't just work for movement, you can rotate things, you can scale things. And in the case of windows, if we activate this, you can use them to move windows around as well. Next we have fade effect on buttons when clicked. So there's only one set of buttons that this affects at the moment, and that is the ones on the right hand side here on the Arken bar. So you may notice if we click on it, you get this nice little blue effect that comes up. And if we turn that off, that effect will stop coming up. Next is some more mouse based ones. We have the double click timing in seconds. So if you need a longer double click, let's set it to say 0.5, a double click is now half a second, so I can click twice within half a second and it will activate whatever I need it to. But if I set that down to say 0.1, if I double click at the same speed, it's not going to activate at all. It's going to treat it as two distinct mouse clicks. But if I click real quickly, then it'll activate. Next one is our click and drag threshold. So this is how many pixels it takes for something to register as a click and drag. By default, it's set to eight. If we set it to say 50, then things aren't gonna register as a click and drag until you get 50 pixels away. But if we set it real low to say five, then it's a click and drag almost instantly. Next up, we have our toolkit default colors. So this will recolor the toolkit for you. First is our text and unclickable content color. So as you can see, as we adjust this, it's gonna change things in real time. And yeah, this changes everything that can't currently be activated or any just flat text in the toolkit. Next up is the color of buttons and clickable text. Once again, this is gonna update all of the relevant parts. Highlighted text color or highlighted content. So this is for when we hover over something, it will change that color. So if we set it to dark blue, you can see it's gonna change to that. And then selected item color is for the menus that are currently selected. So as we change these, it's gonna change the color of what is already selected. Another accessibility option we have are our collapse menus here. So for those who just wanna go by icon, you can do so by collapsing the menu, but if you need the text just to understand what's happening, then you can expand these and get your full options. Another of our accessibility features is our UI audio. So the first thing we're gonna to do to activate that is to go to our volume sliders, go to UI sounds, and set that nice and high. So different parts of the toolkit have some different little audio things that can help those with vision impairment or those who just enjoy using the audio to help them navigate. The first one, as you may have heard, we have our hovers and our slider sounds. So you may notice as we update our sliders, we have a subtle pitch shift. So you know when you're in the slider, 
if you're close to the end or if you're near the bottom. Another handy feature is that all of our UI audio is positional. So if you're wearing headphones, this should be hopefully quite noticeable. As we hover on the left side, you can hear that more on the left. As we hover on the right, you can hear that more on the right. So as we go along here, you can hear the difference. All of our sliders also have these settings. So if we open up, say, a nice big thing here, as we go to the top and bottom, it's going to update the audio. You can go to settings, advanced and UI audio to change what audio is audible in the toolkit if you do or don't need anything. So for example, we can turn off hover and that will disable this hover sound. If we have, say, a stretch, we can disable that. Tooltips and whatnot will come up. So audio is there. Yeah, that is a good overview of all of our accessibility features in the toolkit. Thanks for watching. Bye.